All right, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to you, Aku, out there laboring in His truth and sincerity, without wavering. All right, in this lesson, we uncall it uh, nuclear destruction is very imminent, imminent. All right, which you know I'm gonna go into to that word imminent a little bit. We're gonna hit the scriptures, but I mean, pretty much through the past, <laughs> I mean, couple years, but it's been an increasing of missile launches, nuclear, and not just any missile launches, nuclear missiles. Right. So now, I'm pretty sure by now, brothers heard about the different missiles being shot off, and recently was uh, North Korea, which I got here in this article, right? Uh, is it space.com this one's from so it says uh the title north korea launches nuclear capable missiles into space over japan so really that's an icbm intercontinental ballistic missile because normally that's how when you look at the nuclear missiles and the way they launch the trajectory when they go out into the, the uh space and come back in to hit their target all right just like a, just like a bow like a bow in the air well i mean you know you don't shoot the arrow that you know these are these are uh hyped up bow and arrows if you will all right these are super bow and arrows which you know pack a punch <laughs> okay a, a deadly punch so it says north korea just con conducted one of its most provocative missile tests yet according to media reports you see and they keep saying provocative well that's the scriptures As a matter of fact hold on real quick let me uh And come back to here, but let's go to Joel real quick. Joel, I think it's the third chapter, right? And, and matter of fact, well, now let me get to the point. I, mean, I like reading the whole chapters, but uh, let me just get get to the point. Matter of fact, I'll uh, I'll start at five, fifth verse because you have taken this is prophecy. See, so keep in mind we're in a time of prophecy. That's why, again, I said. The title of the show is the nuclear Dis destruction is very imminent because of a prophecy sake. And matter of fact, real quick, before I go there, let me go, uh, let me just read Isaiah 42 and 9. This is one of the scriptures we used to always bring out at the camp when we used to set up. Uh, this and uh, we used to open up actually with Deuteronomy. And then we, a lot of times this would came, come out, right? But this is uh, Deuteronomy, I mean, <laughs> Isaiah 42, verse 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. Former things such as World War One, right? World War Two, in Revelation to tell you about that, right? It said, but then it said, "Behold, the third world cometh quickly." The third world war, and that's what this is. At the end of the day, I mean, you, people could try to go around it and, you know, and try to sit there and say, "Oh, it's gonna calm down." Man, listen, <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, this is the largest uh, deficit that this country's been in. I think it reached 31 trillion, right? And um, I'm not gonna pull up the article. The brother sent it to me. Matter of fact, hold hold on one second. Let me turn the do put the do not disturb on because I meant to do that. Hold on one second. Okay, got the do not disturb on. You know how them, how them, you know, solicitors or whatever you call them, demons that always call you back to back. But um, yeah. So again, back to the scriptures. Uh, behold the former things are come to pass and like i said you know we we witness it it's documented world war <laughs> world war, <clears throat> excuse me world war one world war two you still got people that's alive from world war two you know you got documentaries you got video footage because they started the most high i mean the turn of the century is when everything increased and that's a, a, another thing which esau even said it which was heavy, like back, they, they did doc, Esau always does documentaries, remember what the scripture says about this devil, he, he does a diligent search, see there's things that's in the archives, like the, the earliest film footage, which I forgot the exact year, it was in the 1800s or whatever, but that's how we're able to see, you're able to watch the first car driving down the street, or car, you know, things of that nature from the 20s and 30s, you know what I mean, they did, not like, like what, what it is now, because again, technology which the scriptures say knowledge shall increase and everything but back then they made that statement because it was a big turn going into the you know the the, the 1900 the turn of the century so to speak back then but 
those things happen. It's documented of World War One, World War Two. All right. So the Lord said, "Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before before they spring." Slacking, new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. So that's why the Lord said, "Behold, the third woe cometh quickly." All right. So World War Three is coming quickly, and that's why you're seeing all these diff these nations are, are gearing up and getting ready because see this. War is gonna not gonna be fought with just you know uh, uh, fighter jets and tanks and stuff. No, it's third World War Three, and it's gonna be capped off with the thermonuclear destruction because the Lord is gonna cause those nuclear missiles to be shot off. So that's why the Most High, because it said the Lord of Hosts must have to the battle. The Most High got that spirit on these nations to where they because why everything is all fucked up. Like I was saying before, I um put the Do Not Disturb. <laughs> Again, I say my nigga. <laughs> nah, I was fucking around, but rip like real talk. This shit is thirty-one trillion in debt. That that that's never gonna change. That's why they're gonna collapse the money system because there's no fixing that. That's beyond repair. Okay, but it said it accumulated one trillion in the last eight months. Because why? Pretty pretty much, it's smoke that's holding this economy and the society up this place already done fell that's why you got the retailers is speaking about how nobody's uh uh you know th and they're able to project it and again remember these devils you know through the spirit of the lord I, I gotta keep saying it they they work with the numbers they that's esau esau takes notes you know the scriptures say he accomplishes a diligent search he's always taking down notes they do like when they, they put out that you know snake piss and and, and the you know the snake juice and all that they, they, they studied all that. That's why they're able to say, okay, that whatever is, is over or such and such and such. Because why? They got their criteria. They got all the, the, the analytics together that they needed. Okay. As far as they talk about, they cloned the, the first, uh, uh, what is it? Snow Wolf somewhere, whatever the fuck, one of them heathen towns or whatever. But they constantly doing these things. So Esau is always taking notes, studying and so forth and so on. So they're able to predict what type of spend it like people because they, they know who's working they, they know everything that everybody gets coming in and out because you have to have a, a a a bank account with debit cards you know mostly everything is that's how the majority of the transactions are there's still some cash transactions but they already know what type of cash you got because you gotta go to the bank to get the cash overall so what they say <clears throat> saying uh targets walmart's these big um blockchain stores or whatever where everybody goes as worldwide right they noticed that the decline has been a great decline of people actually spending it's, it's a great decline of people buying houses and things of that nature and cars to the you know with the rates of being shot up to the point whereas if they don't drop nothing ain't nobody gonna be able to buy shit because nobody can't afford nothing so they know that people are, everybody is fucking really broke man you know I mean, you know, you, you might have be able to pay your whatever monthly bills, but people are fucking broke right now. The, the average, and I'm talking about not just niggas, not just us, <laughs> but these Edomites, man. Because why? That's the time we in, man. All right, this, and, and, and the scriptures tell you, you know, I would look the Lord being being uh, sarcastic. I would look and got some bomb of medicine for it, but Babylon would not be healed. Roughly paraphrasing uh, Jeremiah, right? So the Lord said, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. All right? And of course, and please don't get simple, um, Babakwa Shah. And of course, there's other things that have to happen, man. Okay? I'm, we're never saying that. But the but damn it, the nuclear destruction is a, a fucking big deal, man. That's going to be the, the, the that's going to put the cap on it, man. I don't care. You know what? You don't got to believe it. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord said it's gonna happen, and but yeah, there's gonna be, you know, of course, and, and which that's right around the corner. We could be going into that this winter, just based off of how they they're doing these things or the implementation of of the the, the C hip. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely a, a, a it's gonna happen. That's of course that's gonna happen before the missiles. Uh, what else? Uh, you know the, the riots which they're happening now. They're starting the different riots, the collapse of the government. Right, that that's happening. Um, the famine is coming in, you know, there's one more other thing I was, I can't, I'm slipping my mind right now, but this is all leading up to the destruction 
of America, which is very eminent. Matter of fact, let me get that word. I did pull that, the word eminent up. Let me uh, go into that a little bit. Now, this is the word eminent, which simply means about to happen. See? New things, I, I declare. I tell you of them before they spring forth, before they happen. So look, what's about to happen? It's about to be a nuclear destruction. All right? And, and the spirit just was on me to focus on, you know, because all week I keep seeing them launch, test launch, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And we know that it says wars and rumors of wars, but we're getting past the point of it just being a rumor. You know? That stage is kind of over with, man. You know? All the rumors about the, the, the sea hit. They can't even make it seem like it's, uh, uh, because it's right there in your face. They got the rollout right there ready. Okay? So imminent. All right, uh, let's, let's see what the origin from the Latin in Maneri. In, of course, means upon or towards the Maneri, if I'm pronouncing it right, means to project. All right, to project before. All right, to, to uh, show something before. All right, so in Maneri means impending, overhanging, or to project upon, upon projection. Upon projection from the Holy Bible, the scriptures, which we always been reading from the correct way. All right. Because the Lord gave from the head elder apostles a great millstone on down. All right. The Lord gave us 100 percent truth, which is stem going back to the uh, one West from Abba Bivens. You know, you look up the history. All right. I mean, we, you know, through the apostles and elders, we, we speak on the history. They documented it. Some of it, you know. But nonetheless, you can't deny the key figures, such men, great men of the Lord, such as Abba Bivens, King Masha, High Priest Elder Yaikwab, High Priest Elder Yai Ariya, pardon me, and others, down to the, now the apostles, the Most High, in this age, the Lord raised up the apostles, right, like the scripture said, set forth the apostles last, all right, okay, so, great men, and there's other brothers or whatever that's teaching the same, the correct doctrine, it's about the doctrine, Okay, because here it is, you got IUIC, you know, they got different breakdowns for the mark, for the MO, the MO to the B, right? They got different, so they're not really all on the same page. They all don't believe in the same thing. They keep changing it. They fumbling and everything with it. The scriptures, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, say that you all speak the same thing. So that's why it's important to have the 100% truth, not opinionated truth or your version of what you think, all right? They might say that about us, but... We're telling you, you know, like the Apostle Paul said, I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My conscience bear me witness. That's, we're giving it to you straight, all right? So that's imminent, right? And so it says, um, uh, right, another meaning of imminent translation is ready to take place, happening soon. So what's ready to take place? The nuclear destruction is about to be happening real soon, all right? So now, let's go where we was at, Joel 3. Um, read down into the point. It says, "Because you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things." What's that speaking about? They ain't talking about no actual silver bracelets, and really, that's talking about the Israelites. I mean, yeah, they did take our gold and silver and all that, but guess what's more important, man? What's more important, the, the people or the, the the objects? The the right. So it says, it goes on. It said, "The children also of Judah." And the children of Jerusalem have you sold, which that's the whole nation, the whole 12 tribes. See, the Lord's closing that division. And other, other niggas that stuck on stupid, oh, man, the, the, the uh, Latin tribes, the Indians, they, they're not Israel. Then you're going to die. You're going to burn. You're going to be a part of this uh, nuclear uh, pot that the Lord is stirring up, okay? Because the Mosai said he was closing up the breaches. He's getting, he's bringing back the brotherhood of Judah and Ephraim. So either you wake up or you, or you get left, all right? Wake up or die in your sleep. It says, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, right? This right here is actually talking about the real uh, Edomites, the, the, which are known as the Greeks at one point, right? That you might remove them far from their border. And that, that's history, man. We've been removed. Hell, the script, Jerusalem is really is where we come from to begin with, all right? But we've been removed from our border, even when we set up borders throughout Europe, right? Because... Uh, England and, and the Netherlands, uh, uh, Denmark, and all these places was ruled by our people, so-called black people, man. When you read about the Moors, the Moorish uh, kingdom, that was Jake. That was Israelites that adopted Islam that were taken in the philosophy and religion of 
Islam and they called themselves Moors at that point. Just like now today, you got all people calling themselves niggas, blacks. At the end of the day, they're still Israelites. See? So it said that you might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where they have sold them. Where was the slave auction primarily going on? It was in, in England and other parts. But primarily, that was a, a thing over here in America. That's how a lot of these companies became rich through slavery. All right? On them auctioning blocks, man. It said, out of the place where you have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. They're going to reap what they sow. Then the Lord said in Revelation 18, we're going to render double. He said, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians till a people fall off. For the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. It's talking about the actual nations. Prepare war. There it goes again. The Lord said prepare war. So this is the, the new things that are springing forth. War, the war never was over. And this is going to be the war to end all wars too. All right. So that's why you got these other nations. They're fueling their missiles. They're getting things ready. All right. It says prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Because at one time, that's all these countries were worrying about was agriculture, farm, farming. You know, uh, uh, taking care of their, their, their village, their families and things of that nature. But you have this devil that was let loose for a season that's been going around the whole world. Taking land, destroying land, destroying uh, uh, villages families nations breaking them down and everything so now it's to the point now is where the lord is going to cause the, the whole earth the other nations and the actual earth itself to get ready for war to fight back to destroy america all right these devils in particular esau that's that set up this bitch the whore that sitteth upon many waters it says beat your plowshares into swords so that means turn them your farming instruments into weapons of war all right and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong so when we read articles of of this nature with north korea this is the weak saying that they're strong as well as uh, over there in, in india and, and various other places where they where they uh have nuclear capabilities where they uh iran and all these other countries man why you think russia russia is russia's and i dare to say that the weapons like putin and them are not just bluffing their weapons are more advanced than the United States weapons because if I mean I got the article I don't know if I get to go into it but if you look it up they, they uh South Korea and the United States try to run a joint retaliation for this uh launch right here and it failed <laughs> okay <laughs> it failed so you know here it is Russia North Korea these they having successful launches but the, the US and South Korea they try to run a like to, to respond to this, and it's felt showing you that the Most High is not with these devils. See, the Lord allowed them to get in power. You know, America was, you know, and that's what's gonna hurt. They're not used to catching no L's, man. All right, that's why they're so proud. Because why they done rape, robbed, and murdered the whole goddamn earth, and at one point nobody could say nothing. But now the tables turn. The Lord allowed these other nations to get this te uh, technology. It said North Korea just conducted one of its most provocative missile tests yet, according to media reports. The country sent a missile into space that flew over Japan. And them motherfuckers was tight. They always like, yo, hey, whoa. So now they're scrambling on how to try to get ready for that. Prompting South Korea <clears throat> and the United States to send fighter jets aloft in an exercise off the Korean coast. Right, I don't think this article goes into how they shot, try to shoot missiles that failed. It said unnamed experts quoted by the Post said the missile test, which used a vehicle capable of hosting nuclear weapons, is pushing North Korea closer to threatening the U.S. mainland. And that's why Esau, the devil, sets up his satellites in all these other countries and they put their puppet leaders in South Korea and uh, over there in Ukraine and, and over there with them rats, right, so that they can spy on these other nations because they know... And it's inevitable. They can't stop it. Imminent. Imminent. Because the scriptures tell you. Hold on. Uh, we'll go to Obadiah. Well, I read Revelation 17 first. Right. Let me 
we get straight to the point. Revelation 17, 15, it says, And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. So that's all these other nations that were once in league with the United States, and they pretend to be in league with them, right? It says, And the ten horns which thou saw upon the beast, which is going into what? The, the EU, or, or European Common, uh, uh, what is it again? E, uh, man, ECC. EU, the European Union, the ECC, whatever. I'm not going to bust brain cells trying to remember that right now. You, you know, but the point of the matter is, which a lot of those nations are interchangeable with the NATO nations. They're the same, you know. So, which NATO right now is in league with the United States, but they're going to turn upon them. They're going to, these other nations that, that are right now down with the United States or whatever, war down with them, they're going to direct their missiles at the United States. But it said, in the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. The whore is who? America. The whore that sitteth upon many waters that we just read above. So it said, they're going to hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. How are they going to do that? By these same nuclear missiles, all right? And burn her with fire. For the Most High have put it in their hearts. We're in this point of the prophecy. This did not happen yet. This did not happen yet. It said, for the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill his will. Showing you that the Most High is the one that's in control. When you go to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, where the Lord said you're going to take the arrow, smite the bow and the arrow out of your hand. Meaning the Most High is going to put the spirit on these nations that launch these missiles. And the Lord's spirit is going to be in those missiles to where they're going to hit every last target. When you go back to Joel, the second chapter, it's all throughout the Bible. The prophecy tells you how this thing is going to play out. And there's nothing that this devil could do about it. It says, for the most High have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the wor words of the most High shall be fulfilled. Because you're going to have certain e Edomites, right? That's going to escape the destruction or whatever, wherever they're going to be. And then guess what? We're going to go, the Lord going to have the ones that hopefully we make it, those of the hopeful elect that are delivered and everything. The Lord going to have us come back to the earth searching for the, it was a movie they made like that, man. It was another one for his Whitaker Positor. He like the movie. I always thought it was kind of crazy and bugged out. But I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was a spiritual point that, that was kind of like us coming back on the earth, grabbing up the damn Edomites. It was for his Whitaker. And I forgot the name of the movie, man. It was back in the days, man. Pastor just speak on it a lot. But um, it says, for the most high, put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the most high shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city. Yeah, that great city, Babylon the Great, which is America, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. So that's that's that there. Um, man, okay. Well, it never seems like there's enough time in the day. But now, uh, we'll go back to Joel. It says, uh, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down. See, this is, this is going to be a big party. It's going to be a big blast. Like, you know, this, uh, the party was really turned up, lit. It's off the hook. It's, yeah, man, it was a blast. Well, literally, this party for America, her, her, uh, Farewell party is going to be a, a literal blast, man. It's going to be a blast, okay? A nuclear blast. It said, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, which is the what? The valley of the Most High's judgment, okay? So that's why over there in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and that Middle East area that he is, is on, all right? It says, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. A sickle is what? Uh, when you're going out there reaping, right? That 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 uh, sickle is a sharp <laughs> threshing instrument, man. To come get you down for the press is full. Yeah, but the Lord said in Revelations, He's gonna tread through America like a, a wine press, man. You know, said so the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. So that's the breakdown right there. That's the understanding. That's why, because what the the uh, wickedness is great, meaning. 
the most High is about to stop them. Remember the scriptures say their sins have reached into the heavens. So that's why now is the time because why? Their wickedness is overflowing. So that's why the Lord said that time has to be cut short as well. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. See, imminent. Imminent. All right. So uh, we'll go back and read a little bit more of this. Probably get ready to wrap it up. I didn't even get to the. That's normally how it is. There's so much information. So much information. But um, let's see. It says North Korea closer to threatening the U.S. mainland. The Tuesday test is part of a larger volley of demonstrations by North Korea, which has launched roughly 40 missiles across 20 or so efforts in 2022. So why do you think they're launching that many missiles, man? Huh? You think this for a show? Oh, look at the missile. You think that's what they just, you know, oh, my God, light in the sky. Fire, fight. Come on, man. They're launching the missiles because it's, that's the time. The Lord is prepared. We just read it. You see? The Lord is waking up these nations and getting them ready to fulfill his will. It said the United States will continue its efforts to limit North Korea's ability to advance is prohibited. It ain't going to happen, man. All right. You can't. Ru Russia said they got missiles that you can't even detect. And even if you was detecting, the Lord is guiding those missiles, man. You're not in control of nothing, Esau. At the end of the day, the Most High framed you and set you up, man. You know, who framed Roger Rabbit? You know, who framed Esau? And the Most High did. The Most High did that, right? Okay. It says, uh, to limit the ability of North Korea's advance, it, to limit the ability to advance is prohibited. Ballistic missiles and weapons of mass destruction programs, including with allies and UN partners, U.S. National Security Council spokesperson said in the statement. So yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it end it there. Um, just wanted this is a quick little little uh, update spirit on the prophecy of, of the imminent destruction that's coming. You know, I keep, like I said, I keep seeing all these, everybody's testing their missiles. That's not for naught. And then if you look at what's going on in the economy, which, you know, you know that that, I wouldn't be surprised if going into November or whatever, uh, December, they, they have the, they start having the karagma popping by then. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just saying because it's that close. Everything is that close, you know? So, you know, uh, with that, I'm going to say, Kyle, Lyle, Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, and Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Brock, Thumb, Tisha, Seer, Akin, Shalom.